you know, to create another barrier for voters to jump over. Andrea Haley from Vote.org says in 2020, you can apply for an absentee ballot online with a digital signature. Then the actual ballot was mailed to you. But now the new law says the only way you can apply is to find the form online, print it, and then sign it with ink. We have digital signatures for hunting licenses, driver's licenses, um, for almost everything. So this pen and ink requirement is really, even the name of it sounds like something that we're going back to like an 1800 style living or something. She says applying online is a lot more efficient, but now you're using a printer just to get the application. We're in a whole different world, and I do believe it will cause significant drop off, particularly around populations that don't have printer access. Haley says many elderly don't have printers, and a lot of young voters never did. We're seeing, you know, a, a, a throwback to the days before we all had, you know, access to smartphones and computers. And we're really saying to people, you need to um, find your form. After printing the application, you're still not done. You sign it, mail it back, fax it, or deliver it to the election office. This is just stage one in the process. So what they're essentially doing is trying to eliminate people out of the process before it's even begun. Her group, along with two others, is suing over the new application rule. Civil Rights Act says that you cannot cause increased burden to voters. She says more steps in applying for an absentee is a burden. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger defends the new rules. And we believe that the appropriate role, as the General Assembly put into state law, is that you have a wet ink signature to verify that this is your ap application. But the lawsuit says the new steps in just applying for an absentee will mean fewer people voting. And I do think voters are just now starting to realize what, what these new laws will do um, in this upcoming election. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3, on your side.